what are some of the biggest relationship deal breakers for you? Relationship deal breakers, um, trust. If I can't trust you, I'm sorry, but it's not going to work, you know, mm -hmm. because I feel like trust is like the ultimate factor when yeah. it, in any relationship. I don't want to have to be going through your stuff, going through your phone because I don't trust you or having that anxiety of like, is he talking to somebody else? Yeah. Am I being cheated on? You know, because at the end of the day, I feel like nobody likes that or nobody wants to be put in that position. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have trust, it also equals as insecurity. Exactly. You start getting very insecurity. Really insecure. And that's another topic itself. Mm -hmm. um, so trust is a huge thing. Um, communication, like you said. Communication is super important because I feel like if you guys are not communicating, then neither one of you guys know how you guys are feeling, mm -hmm. what you guys can do to make the relationship better, what's not working, what is working. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like communication is the ultimate also factor in any For relationship. For sure, 100%. Because there's no communication, yeah. it's going to fail. And I feel like you should be comfortable with your partner to communicate with to communicate with them about any topic, yeah. anything at all, I feel like you should be like free to speak to them about. Mm -hmm. um, so I think communication is also very important. Um, I say when they have a girl or guy best friend, that's a deal breaker for me. Yeah, I can see that. I, I, I can see that. If I know you're super tight with someone that's like not even three years of a long relationship between you guys, Unless you're willing to cut that off for me, it's a deal breaker. How about vice versa? What do you mean? If I had one? Like, yeah, a, like a very close friend, um, a, a, like a male friend, a guy. a guy friend. I mean, obviously, if he's not gay. No, like, let's say, like, he's straight. Straight as hell. Yeah. I would have to drop him. Like, if my significant, significant other, like, feels some type of way, like, what matters more? Is something that's going to last me a lifelong time, yeah. like, husband-type deal? Or a best friend that eventually, like, it may fade. Because once they get in a relationship, I'm pretty sure they're going to cut me off, too. You yeah, know? yeah. So, priorities. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But unless I've known that person since, like, I was, like, six. Like, childhood, childhood, where I'm like, okay, you got to understand. Then, no. Yeah, I feel you. I feel like that's, like, a very, like, controversial topic mm -hmm. itself, you know? Dude, you're insecure. Like, yeah. Oh, you, don't, you have to trust each other. It's just, like... You can trust each other, but it's a level of respect. If your significant other isn't comfortable, then yeah. make them comfortable. Yeah. As long as you don't feel like you're doing something like you really don't want to do. Yeah. You know, you don't want to feel controlled in a relationship or anything like that. Yeah, that's true. What's another one? <laughs> that's mine. That's um, another one. That's me too. At least a two. A deal breaker. Um... A mama's boy. Really? Yeah. A mama's boy that always has his stuff cleaned from okay. the mom. Okay, yeah, then that's something Where else. she gives him allowances still, or Let's she pays for, for his bills, yeah. like pays for his car or something, and he's not really independent on his own and depending on her all the time. It's just like, well, I'm not trying to have a man-child man or like a little Yeah, baby. I feel like you should be independent, you know? Mm -hmm. And We're at my too age. grown. Yeah. You know, I get like I get when we were a child, that's different. But in high school or something. Yeah, we're there has to be like where you have, you can be with your parents. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. With their they're with their parents. Mm -hmm. Is that like a deal breaker? I, mean, I feel like I'm gonna get shit for it, but personally, I would like if he's out. Yeah. Because if I'm out, I would expect him to be out. Yeah. Um, because I don't want to be going over his house and hanging out and sneaking to his room or like you know we want to have after midnight the window goes up yeah we want to have this uh, some sneaky linky time and we have to be quiet because of the mom or the yeah. dad or the sister like yeah. i don't want to deal with that like i want to feel free so like if we want to cook in the kitchen we go to the kitchen like if we want to sit freaking legs wide open on the couch naked. watching the movies naked yeah. like i don't want to deal with the whole oh my mom my mom's there yeah what am I? Like, I'm 25. <laughs> I don't need that. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, not for What you. about you? I mean, I understand, like, things are, like, super expensive, and it's difficult. Not everybody has a privilege of living by themselves. Yeah, for sure. So I understand, like, 
for like different circumstances, it's it's okay. Um, I, would I like for that person to be independent? Yeah, of course, because mm-hmm. like you said, you don't have to worry about somebody else or like what you can or cannot do. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I would prefer, but do you have to? No, like I understand that it's not that feasible for everybody, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, That's true. That's very true. Especially yeah. here in Miami, it's like yeah, it's, almost impossible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but now let, let's say if they're living with their parents. And they have the opportunity to become like become independent, mm-hmm. but they choose, choose not, not to. Not to, because they're comfortable. They're comfortable. Like, yeah. No, I'm sorry. No. Like if you're not at least remotely trying, yeah. like doing what you need to do, but you still can't get there, then I can reason with you. Like yeah. I'm gonna help you as yeah. like a significant other. But if you're just chilling, and you're just chilling, and you Mom, like your shit clean. Like, exactly. No. no. <laughs> if she wipes your ass for you, I'm sorry, <laughs> but no. You gotta go. I'm sorry. <laughs> The door's right there. Right. Bye. Ciao. So, no. It really depends, like I said.